Welcome to the grand finale. So yes, this is actually going to be the final album haul slash unboxing of 2023. We are coming to the close of this year. We finally have my haul of albums. Oh my god. Another package, another thing to stress about because once again, I have to apologize for the delay for unboxing some of these albums. I know a lot of people have been asking for it as always, but as always, delays are bound to happen. It's funny because I literally was like, oh, I'm gonna get these albums faster hopefully because I'm shipping most of them to myself only to find out that a certain company who has a terrible rep of keeping their albums in stock has been delaying my entire package and I ended up shipping packages over to my caddy which I shipped over to me so it didn't even matter in the end besides all that we are finally here doing this final unboxing and it is definitely a grand finale because look at all of these freaking albums we have. Holy Jesus, this is actually insane. Um, there's just so many different version things. There's so many different releases I wanted to include in this video. Today's lineup, we have Red Velvet's Chill Kill. We have Zero Base One, Melting Point. We have Espa Drama. We have Wavy on My Youth. We have the remaining versions of Stray Kids' Rockstar. So we have the postcard OT8 set and then Nemo and Headliner. And we actually have Don't Hate Me for This, okay? Don't roll your eyes. Don't be like, oh my god, really, Brad? Another new group? But hear me out, okay? We do have Kiss of Life over there but I'll get into that, okay? Let me just say for now though, it's casual. Just the album, okay? I know, I know. I can feel the tension and the glares. Let's just hurry up and get into this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna open is an album we technically already unboxed, the like limited and standard versions already, and I guess two of these postcards. But we're gonna open Rockstar first. I have my full OT8 set here. We also have the two additional versions, the Nemo and the Headliner. They really went all out with these versions. And I think we're gonna start off with the Headliner version because this is technically like a photo book, I guess. Now that I'm looking at this, it's like, what really was the point of making this like this, its own separate version, you know? Like it's, especially with how thin it is, like, okay. The cover is really cute. I like the collage, but like, was this necessary? I don't get it. Oh well, we still got it. <laughs> all right, so we'll do, a super quick flip through because again this is such a thin photo book but i'm I, i'm pretty sure this didn't they already include this concept in like one of the original photo books so again recycled pictures for a separate version i don't get it all right and then it looks like we just get one photo card okay it doesn't show oh it oh oh my god wait we actually got hyunjin's He's my bias and I barely pull him, so that's good. Oh my god. And he has this really cool lollipop. Whoa. And then we also get this little... Oh, it's like a little accordion thing. It's the full OT8 members. So yeah, again, like really genuinely just confused on this version. But at least we got a Hyunjin photo card out of it. Slay. <laughs> the members we already unboxed on this channel were Pangchan and Felix. So if you want to watch that orig original unboxing, you can go ahead and watch that first. But now it's time to open the rest of the members and see if we end up pulling OT8 because I need OT8 for this. And again, I'll go relatively quick. So I'll show like the photo cards first. I mean, you can see the name too, but oh my god, I did pull this card already. So... We got a dupe, but I see Felix. Oh, I don't have this selfie card. Yes. We'll put our OTA progress here. There it is, CD. Oh yeah, postcard version, duh. They're gonna show the postcards. I don't exactly remember if like the unit ones are the same. But there's like individual ones. Yeah, again, let me just flip to this pretty. Oh, ooh, I like this picture. I love, I love those glasses. But yeah, time crunch, y'all. And then this poster. Yeah, sorry if you actually wanted like an actual, you know, in-depth unboxing. I mean, these videos usually are supposed to be quicker because they're haul unboxings. I've, I'm opening a lot of albums. It also helps me from not making like 20 million videos. <laughs> we get, oh, we got another, wait, oh my, oh, I actually have this card. Fun fact, <laughs> this is, this one I already have, but it's a Hyunjin set. That's crazy. I don't have this one. 
Yay! Our third Hyunjin pull. Wow. We can go ahead and look through Changbin's postcard sets. Oh, wow. Okay. Model. Okay, now we actually have Hyunjin's in this Korean pear sweater. <laughs> Again, it just reminds me of those Korean pears. The rack, their packaging. <gasps> we got a Lino selfie. And then, oh my god, I did pull this one also. We got Ayan's non-selfie, which I already have. Selfie-wise, we're doing pretty, oh wait, this is a dupe, but I guess dupe-wise, we're not doing that bad. And we have Hyunjin sets. Oh yeah, I did open Chisong's too. I bought three postcard versions, I just remembered. So yes, that one is also an extra. But yes. Here's Chizong's. Uh oh, I see Lino already. Oh, it's his non-selfie one though. Okay, nice. <gasps> Chizong? <gasps> Yay! This one is our first one with no dupes at all. Again, just for the sake of this video. In case you're too lazy to watch my other video. I'm okay with that. I'll save you the time. Okay, yeah, these duet pictures are the same. All right, Pang Chan, another member. We already unboxed. I see Changbin. Do I? I think I might have Changbin's too. I think I pulled Pangchan, Ayan, and Changbin, so I think this is a dupe. And then, oop, we have our third <laughs> Korean pair Hyunjin. Oh my god. That's what I'm gonna call that photo card Korean pair. I guess kind of Pangchan's wearing the same effect too, like these ropes. I love, I love it though. It looks cool. All right, and then Felix. Oh, I see Felix already. Is this a non-selfie? Oh, yes! Okay, so we got a Felix set. Nice. Then, oh my god. Uh-oh, we are approaching Duke Nation, y'all, with that Hyunjin. Okay, and then let's look through Felix's. I really like what he's wearing underneath that, like, it looks like an apron, low-key. Like a tank top apron. But it looks cool. All right, we are almost at the end. We have Sungmin's. There's a lot of like member version things now. So when we flip through a lot of member version albums, it's gonna be <laughs> quite time consuming. Oh, another dupe. And another dupe. Wow, the fact that they were together again too. That's insane. Now we have Sungmin's. Ooh, that blazer though. Looks cool. Oh my god, those socks too? Okay. And this is the first time we're seeing the Sungmin Ayan units. Alrighty, last but not least, we have Ayan. I actually do appreciate the fact that they changed up this packaging though, like for the member versions. They did like jewel case, digipacks, and now this postcard version. Uh oh, wait. Oh, I didn't pull Chisong's yet, did I? Oh, I didn't. Okay, wait, one, two, three. Five, six, seven. Okay, we oh, seven of them, which is nice. And then I think this is a dupe. I think I already have this IN. But with that, how many selfies do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I think I might have one more member. So I think I might have six members for the selfies. I don't remember, but again, progress is not that bad. I know we pulled a lot of dupes for the the selfie one with that Hyunjin, but not bad though, especially for a group with eight members. Okay, hopefully collecting OT8 won't be too difficult. But then there comes the problem of me being lazy to trade. Haven't even finished OT8 for five star digit packs because I didn't trade for those at all. All right, so this. Okay, so this is something we don't have to worry about OT8 for because they blessed us and they gave us an OT8 set of selfie cards. So I'm guessing because they're doing the Nemo version for Itzy as well. But, um, okay, why can't I? Why is this so hard to take out? Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Okay, once I put this back in, I'm never taking it out again. That was a struggle. Why was that so tight on there? What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god, I can't even open. Oh, okay. Just a mess all around. Okay, let's see though. Let's see this Nemo version. So this is the QR card. And it's, it's not even like a set of concept cards, it's a set of selfies, which is just so nice. Like, love that. This is literally like a photo card pack, you know? 
Love that. So now we have this OTH set. And then this is the random thing, this ornament. We got INs. But yeah, I don't really mind who I pull for this. It's just like a tiny little inclusion. We also get a sticker and... Oh, these are like lyric cards. Cool. Yeah, I guess this is JYP's method for the platform album. I'm just glad we get a full set of selfie cards. Next up, I'm just grabbing this, but we are gonna do zero base ones. First comeback now, melting points. So as you can see, I have all three of the normal versions and then yes, I do have six digipacks with me. But the reason why I have six digipacks is because I originally bought three, right? My top three line, which is Hanbin, Matthew, and Tede. But then I bought these al albums mainly from K-Town For You. They were having this lucky draw event. And if you bought like, you know, like a set of a digipack and a normal album, you get an extra lucky draw. So since I was going to buy all three versions of this, I bought three more random digipacks with it. So I got nine cards in total. So that's why I ended up with three extras. <laughs> so the three extra members I got were Yujin, Sanghao, and Chu. So that's why I have six. And since I only need three more to finish the set, I think I might just buy the remaining three members from like resellers or something. I don't know. But anyways, speaking of, we have our massive stack of lucky draws that I got. So let's look through them, shall we? They're like three different versions. So this one's just like a regular selfie one, it looks like. But we got Ricky, Dong Hao, and Chu. And then for this like candy version, it looks like, like cotton candy, we have Eugen's, Matthew's, and another Ricky. I need to cover Hanmin's face. And then for this one, this one just seems like another selfie heart, maybe. We have Hanbin, Guvin. And Matthew. So yeah, I guess it was worth it, even though this did kind of take a while to ship out too. <laughs> we have our regular versions here. I don't are the versions names here? They're not. Okay, so sorry. I'm just gonna say the black version. They definitely got a major upgrade in the packaging though. Like, look at that. <gasps> Ooh, we got this Matthew postcard thing. Showing a little shoulder action. Okay, sir. This one kind of reminds me of what album was it? I think it was Blue Eyes by Eyes One, where it's like a frame like this. It's really cool how they have like different packaging for like each box version. Okay, oh my god, I'm so excited to finally be- Oh my god! <gasps> Spoiler alert! Why is everything up here? Okay, anyways, um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, I'm really excited to finally be opening these albums. Like, a lot of these albums, like, I've just been looking at- Again, since I work at a K-pop store, I see these albums, like, a lot. And I'm just like, when are mine gonna arrive? And it's finally here. Let's just go in order. So, we get... Ooh! This group poster. This is the CD. And then, ooh, this is quite a hefty photo book. Love it. Alright. So this one seems to be, like, a darker, like, suit concept. I think this concept matches, like... The title track the best because the title track's like very like more dark-esque you know <gasps> these photos man also kanuk has also been climbing on my bias list it's bad why do i have so many biases for all these freaking groups man like calm down <laughs> literally calm down yeah oh my god these pictures are so nice i sorry i need to flip through this once more that was a little too quick I really love these outfits too. Oh my god, Matthew's outfits. Oh, we have Tede. Oh my goodness. The backgrounds look like it's I like how even though oh my god, I like how even though it's like a plain white background technically, they like played with projectors and lights and stuff. Like it makes it more interesting, you know? I appreciate that. And then we already saw like pretty much everything in here. But I didn't know it came with a keyring though. That's so cute. It's like this bird. That is actually adorable. And then, okay. Will I, am I tripping or do we get like the same members? So, okay, we got this Chiung selfie card though. Cute. Yeah, wait, look. We pulled an entire Chiung set. Are you serious? That's actually crazy. And then this Lenti card. Whoa. Did Chiung pack this album himself? Damn. All right, now we have this white version. This one looks like a 
a book. I think this one's my favorite concept though. I think this one's the snow one. Oh my god, wait. Oh, I hate that they flip it up like that, but I guess I'm gonna see it anyways. This is so cute. It's like winter concept. Oh my god, love it. This one, I guess this is like the melting point concept, you know, because I think this is the concept that they did for the melting point music video, like the more energetic, cutesy-ish, happier concept song. I just love this like snow setting and also their outfits are so cute. It's like all the fur and stuff. These are like my favorite outfits actually. The, the styling of this entire photo shoot, like across the two versions we saw were already so nice. <gasps> Zhanghao looks so cute. Oh my, I can't with Matthew in this hat. Like there's so many photo cards with him. And we just pulled one actually. So that, that's literally fate. But that hat is so cute. This is just such a cute concept. I can't. Okay, then we got this. It's an ornament and we got somehow for it. And then it looks like we get a group postcard as well. And then of course we did see our cards already, but first we got this Ricky card. He's making an O. I feel like I'm very Ricky blessed actually. Like I pulled a lot of his like POVs and now his album card. And then this Matthew card. Oh my God, I really wanted a fluffy hat Matthew card. And he's here. Lastly, we have this one. This one opens like straight in the middle. Ooh, it's like unlocking the door. Oh wait, my cards. Okay, I'm gonna try and not look at them. Guess we'll go through the photo book first then. Ooh, oh, whoa. It's actually like a keyhole. Interesting. Oh, this one's like the funky concept, like the playful one. Oh, I really wish, like, I can flip through all these pictures, but for time's sake, I must save it for later. Oh, these are so cute. This kind of reminds me of, like, those I Spy books, right? Was it I Spy? Just, like, the random objects here and there. Whoa. Even though it doesn't really match, like, the entire vibe of the this specific album, it's still a fun photo shoot. Okay, now we get to co be completely surprised by our pulls. So, let's look at this poster first. Ooh, it's like a magician type of thing. It looks like, I think this folds into a, what is this, like a rose, like this? Then there's our postcard, our third keychain. Okay, I don't really know their signatures, so let's see. <gasps> we got a Kanu photo card. He is in this super cute hoodie and then oh, we got a oh this one's so cute i like that little bead in his hair oh now it's time to go through our plethora of six digipacks let's do this shall we okay so first handins like making it like this size you know like the size of the cd what happened to that come on let's take out our stuff all right Oh, we got two cards. Nice. Oh my god, wait. Actually, you know what's so funny though? I did join like a couple of group orders with my friend, like for the digipacks for like some POVs and stuff. So I feel like I can just ask him hopefully. And also that means I can complete OT9 for the entire digipack set, right? Like the digipack photo cards. Oh my god. Am I going to collect OT9 for the digipacks? What is this happening? So we have these stickers and then... Oh, it's like a little star thing. Cool. All right, first photo card. <gasps> we got Tedes. Aw, and then <gasps> Kanuks. I guess any pull in this case would be a good pull because I guess I'm unofficially starting this OT9 Digipack collection. Only the Digipack because it just so happened to work out that way. <laughs> right next up, we have. Song house. I'm not gonna show the CD to be honest. I know that it has the members picture, but y'all, I'm too lazy. <laughs> Being completely honest. It's just the CD, right? Like you guys will survive without looking at it. There's probably a picture of it out there somewhere if you desperately want to see it. Ooh, look at that. Is this on the Crush music video set? It kind of looks like it. Am I remembering correctly? The Crush. Oh, I didn't even talk about the song yet. Oh my god, I need to talk about that. First card. <gasps> Ooh, another Chiung. And then <gasps> a Yujin card. 
Nice, no dupes yet. Now for Chung's. Oh my god, the music. Okay, so I definitely was a little startled <laughs> when they dropped the teaser because like obviously I didn't, I don't think anyone expected them to like switch to like this like beat drop intensity music. You know what I mean? I know people call it like noise music or whatever. All music is noise music, but anyways, wait, photo card pulls first. Let's see. Oh, we got Kanuk's other card. I think that means we completed his set. And then this Cuban. Cute. I like how they include two cards this time. Yujin Sija Pack. But yeah, in the beginning, I was a little iffy about it. Like, I did actually like the beats just from the teaser itself. But like, the structure of the song kind of threw me off a bit. I feel like the perfect way this song could have been executed is if that beat drop part was only break dance. Oh, wait dance break oh my god a dance break you know i thought it, i seriously thought it was going to be like a dance break only but it's like part of the first two choruses the last the bridge to the last chorus transition oh my god that's what really like got the song for me like that was just such a seamless transition and the vocals and stuff loved it like that's what made me like the song even more it really did grow on me and i love it okay oh wait we Oh my god, my voice. Uh. We have Yujin's other card, so we have his set, and then our first Matthew for the Digipacks. Yas, what does it say? It's cookies and cream Matthew time. Oh, is it because of his hair? That is cute. Second to last, Matthews. But yeah, as for the rest of this album though, admittingly, I don't love it as much as their debut. I feel like their their debut is just set so high of a standard for me it's still unbeatable like i guess you can say it's like an ugly twink for the way it cannot be topped so far it was still a pretty good mini album though i think my favorite song um i would say it's melting points and these first two songs actually melting point and take my hand for the b-sides still their debut just hits so hard okay <gasps> is this hanbin oh my god slay so we got hanbins oh this is like a school uniform and then, okay, we got the dupe for Chung's, but again, bound to happen. It's only one dupe so far, so. Okay, last but not least, we have Terez. Let's take a look at his photo book. I still am just obsessed with his vocal tone and his voice. Like, it's just so prominent in their songs, and it's just so good. I love it. That's why he's like my main bias. Uh-oh, wait. Oh, it's the other one, right? <gasps> yes, we got uh, Matthew's other card. So we have a set done and then... Okay, this is a dupe Cuban. So we've only got two dupes out of six digit packs. Not bad at all. And I'm just hoping maybe I can just ask my friend maybe through the group order. But yeah, anyways, that is it for Zero Base One. All right, y'all. Now we'll go through way beasley has come back on my youth there's actually not that many versions which is surprising i know there's a member version thing for the sm minis and i was thinking about getting the full set for it but then by the time i decided to get it they sold out on like k10 for you so i was like you know what i'll just get tens it's no biggie and i think for my financial wallet sake that was a good cho choice but anyways let's flip through this album now we have this is the i think regular photo book version it's actually pretty big though like it's a pretty thick photo book, so love that. Okay, and I guess, ooh. We have another wavy comeback, which I'm happy about. Phantom was just such a hit, so I was very excited for the next one. And again, no disappointment around here when it comes to wavy. Like literally, especially their albums. Like this is their second full album, I think. Yeah, and all the songs are just so damn good. To be quite honest though, I think I only listened to it like twice fully through, but I am about to go on another another flight, so maybe I'll listen to it again then. But I remember when I was first listening to it though, I really enjoyed it. It was a really good full album. Pop in Love is such a good one too. Oh my god. And then just like from time to time, I just go like, blame it on my youth. <laughs> it really is just so catchy. Okay, but and I really like this concept too. It really emanates that. I don't know. Just blame it on my youth. <laughs> That's what I get from looking at this. Anyways, we have our envelope of goodies. Everything's all compact in here. Okay, so it looks like we get our... Oh, it's like a message poster. Because once again, SM does not do separate posters anymore. Okay, anyways, sticker. 
And then, ooh, whoa. What is this? Ooh, a postcard. We got Hendry's. And then, oh, that's the photo card. I don't even know whose signature that is. <laughs> okay, and then we get this little Kuhn film strip. And then, okay, this is the last thing. Oh, we got Hendry's photo card as well. Look at that. I love his outfit and his hair too. He looks just so stylish. Oh my god, I just noticed. We did get a POB for this for the photo book version. Oh no, this is actually a lucky draw. This is from Cape Town for You's lucky draw event that they did. And this was another reason why this package was so delayed. It's because this album was taking forever to get restocked. But I have it now, and I guess it was worth the wait because look at this Yang Yang picture. Such a cute photo card, so I guess it was worth it. Alrighty, now we have the diary version. I actually really like this packaging. I love like diary packaging. I know other groups have done it before, so I'm excited to open this, although they did put it in this horrendous plastic. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna cut this out at this point. Like, I thought I was gonna be able to rip it off, but I clearly can't. I blame us. Oh! My little bear! Here it is! It's so cute! And then there's like a little tag in there. It really is like a diary. Okay, whoa, whoa. Okay, so now we get to flip through this photo book. It's pretty thick too. Like, look at all these pictures they're giving us. Ooh, they're like little close-up portraits. Wait, these are so nice. Oh, whoa. It's a gun show out here. I actually really like these mini pictures and lyrics. Ooh. Oh, and we get a different concept too. This one's like at home, it looks like. Man, just the styling of this. I love all their outfits. These sweaters and stuff. Ooh, win-win with that vest. Okay. Lovely. All right, and then we get so many stickers. Like, look at all this. We get, oh, it's like, members and names we have Xiaojun, Hendry, Kuhn, this quote, this poster, another double-sided poster, and then let's see, ooh, we got this win-win Polaroid, that's nice, and then for our photo card, oh my god, we got this Kuhn photo card, look at how cute this is, oh my god, he's like pinching his trike, Cute. All right, lastly, we have our teeny little SM Mini. We have tens because he is my bias. Okay, you'll see a common theme of me only getting my bias for these member version things because once again, like SM just decided to pile up all these comebacks and like, of course they do like a million like member version things. So for some of them, I didn't buy every single member like I usually would, but not this time. All right, let's see our photo card pull. <gasps> Whoa! We got the Shaljun card. Look at that makeup, though. All right, I'm sure this was an album people have been dying to see me open. I'm so sorry it's late, but oh, here it is. At last, we have Espa's drum ma 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 drum ma 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 Oh, that was not... Uh, let's just open these albums before I hit the camera one more time. This was another reason why this video was a little delayed, is because originally I was just gonna buy, you know, like one of each version and whatever, but then Makestar decided to drop this event, and look at this first card, y'all. Like, just from this first card alone, I was like, I feel like this is my sign. And it was also for the Giants version, which were member versions, and so obviously if I get four, you get four cards. So I now have an OT4 set of this. So yeah, no regrets. Anyways, we have this winter Pikachu holo card, like, so cute. We get Giselle's side bang moments. And then Ning Ning Slay moment. And then this one I'm a little sad about because the original one was like her holding a dinosaur plush, which I really liked actually. But I guess people complained about it, so they changed it to this. I mean, it's still really pretty, obviously, don't get me wrong. But that dinosaur one was actually cute. And I'm pretty sure that's what caused the delay in shipping these albums, but whatever. Still a really pretty set. I'm glad I got, like, OT4 for this. Okay, anyways, let us flip through this now. We'll start off with this biggest photo book version. The, um, 
I think it's called the drama version, actually. Oh my god, this is like on my youth. Why did they have to, like, and they made like this a part of the packaging too, so it's like, I don't want to destroy this, you know? This is a part of the album to me. Oh, it actually, oh, wait, hold on. I just needed a little more patience. <laughs> there we go, I just fucked that up, but... Again, why did they have to do so many versions of this album? Like, that's another reason why I didn't get all the versions. Because usually for Espa, I would. Like, I did with My World. But, like, whoa. Like, bad timing. I guess all the inclusions are in there. First photo book. I'm the drama. This really seems like a magazine editorial. Like, look at this. They are such mega ultra slayers. Like, are you kidding me? So cool so like techno retro not is it retro i don't think so like techno baddies they are killing it this was an appropriate sized photo book this really feels like a magazine i love that and then oh my god oh i thought this was one massive poster <laughs> but we get this poster oh my god the smell whoa why does it smell like that Oh my god, that's intense. Oh, is this a member poster? <gasps> oh, we got Ning Ning. Whoa, this is such a cool poster. Oh my god, I think this is the reason why this album smells. This paper. <laughs> okay, looks like we got another photo book though. Let's see. Ooh, oh, this is like the outdoor concept. This kind of gives me like my world vibes too. It's for just like darker, you know? They all look gorgeous though. I love the, the brown themed outfits. Ooh, that's cool. They really embrace the whole like drama sequence thing. These are so cool. Oh yeah, wait, I keep forgetting to talk about like the music. Duh, sorry y'all, but we have a lot more to flip through. <laughs> okay, we get a bunch of these stickers. So it looks like it says drama. The fuck does this say? Oh, Espa. <laughs> I'm the drama. Espa. Okay, and then CD. Just says drama, of course. Photo card. <gasps> of course, we got Ning Nings. I'm very Ning Ning blessed, honestly. Oh my god, whoa. Paragraph on the back. But she is stunning. All right, so this is technically all the Giants version, but I did end up getting the Target and Barnes and Noble exclusive so we have them here i also have the amazon exclusive which was a different format so that's why this is the group version but normally they are these member versions so let's flip through these shall we first up we have giselle's i did fuck up on the sticker it's so annoying how they like put the sticker like on the plastic wrapping because like i want to keep it and now this happens like why <laughs> okay anyways um oh Oh, well, I guess we can look at the card now. We got Giselle's to match. Yes. Okay, and then once again, CD. Um, oh yeah, okay, so this folds out to be like one giant poster, which is really cool. This is cool too. Do you see that? It says drama. Oh, there we go through this. I'm assuming these are member. Wait, no, never mind. I thought they would be like member specific photo books. Doesn't look like they are, though. Oh my god, does this... Does this mean, like... It's just the covers that are different? Like, member version covers, but it's the same photo book? Did they pull that stunt again? Oh my god. I guess we'll find out with Ning Ning's version. Oh my god, it... I think it is. <laughs> okay, let's see... Yeah, these are... Okay, yeah, these are the same pictures, right? I'm not tripping. Oh, yeah, they are the same. Okay. Dang, that is just so disappointing. I hate it. Like, if you're going to make a member version thing, at least make it, like, different photo books. Like, you just put Ning Ning pictures in here. Like, just make the member correspondent or something. Like, damn. Why do you have to just make the cover different? <gasps> oh, okay, wait. We got Ning Ning's photo card, though. Oh, my God. This is such a cute card. Uh, Oh my god, she's like clown at us, the drama. Love that. We have Vinters, which is, again, disappointing that this is the same exact photo book. Just triple checking, you know, just in case. 
All right, are we gonna get a winter card? Oh, oh, it's actually random. So we got Giselle's again, but again, I feel like dupes are bound to happen, you know, especially cause this is a four member group. So the chances are even, well, I guess higher, right? Like 25% now. I should just not talk math right now. Like my, oh my God, wait, we actually got Karina's though. Yes, oh, we got her car photo card. Cute. So I guess we're only missing winters for this OT4 set. Hopefully I will trade. <laughs> now we have our US exclusive. So they made this group cover and I'm assuming once again, the, oh, spoiler, but are the photo books the same? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't know why I keep checking. Like it is going to be the same, but we got Ning Ning's target card. <gasps> Look at how stunning she is. Oh, she even wrote like a little English message. Cute. Oh my God, wait, I forgot about the music part. <laughs> of this unboxing oh my god wait i'm just like oh damn it okay so we did get a dupe you know what's funny though I, i'm pretty sure i bought this from two different targets so damn but we got another ning ning all right and then now for barnes and noble oh yes we got karina's card slay oh my god love that and then oh another dupe so I'll probably try and trade this then for another member. All right, now we just have, oh shoot, we have the SM minis too, I almost forgot. Damn, all these versions. Okay, anyways, this is the sequence one. This is one version where I just got Karina's. So yeah, anyways, where's the, oh, the, oh, it's back there. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's see. This is actually pretty cute. I like this little like mini photo book. It's like a square size. Oh shoot, it's like from, wait, where is this from? Is this just a photo shoot? Or did they make like a teaser or something? It looks so dramatic though, wow. But yeah, actually, y'all are gonna hate me for saying this, but I did not really vibe with drama the first couple of listens, the title track. I don't know why, I wasn't like completely drawn to it for some reason, like it was just like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like, I wasn't like gagging over it, you know, like everyone else was. But now I understand. It's actually so good. I love it. It's so catchy. Like I could not get drum ma 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 ma. I bring drum ma 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 ma. Like that is just so catchy. And, like the choreo, the bridge, and like their vocals. Ugh, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Oh <gasps> yes, we got Karina's for this photo card as well. She is stunning. Again, just so sad. This only comes with one card, like not even a postcard, damn. Okay, anyways, now we have our poster version. So again, I just bought Karina's and then this is the Amazon exclusive. I actually do not have the Walmart exclusive because Walmart is once again major flop and they canceled my order and I could never get the album. So thankfully someone was super nice enough to gift me the Karina's Walmart card. So I don't need that actually. I kind of want to get the actual album though because it's a different cover but we'll see anyways for now we just have Karina's right now I think my main complaint though about this era was just the the album itself the mini album I just feel like it's so inconsistent with like the theme of this album and stuff and like the first three songs are fine like drama tricker trick and don't blink but then you get to the last three and it's like what <laughs> like it seems so random if you know what i mean it's just so like happy and like youthful and this entire album is just like drama ma, 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 drama you know and the concept of it that's all i was a little like like i'm a very like album heavy person you know what i mean where it's like i want i like consistency in an album like thematically and stuff I always have thought this, but they could have switched like songs from my world and drama so that it it's better suited, you know, like I feel like Hot Air Balloon, YOLO and You, that could have gone to my world. And then from my world, they could have taken Salty and Sweet, um, Thirsty even, and also even like Welcome to My World. Like that was a pretty dramatic song. If they just switched those three songs, I feel like album wise as a whole, it would have matched so much better, you know, because like those three happy songs match like my world like happy summer spicy you know and those three songs that i mentioned can fit well in drama 
concept wise i don't know that was my two cents i just wanted to say that but that was my thought process but not exactly my favorite mini album from espa but i did like drama so yeah anyways <laughs> moving on that was eight ratty music critic corner where i just mumble jumble about my opinions that no one asked for those that postcard sets <gasps> oh we got a giselle for the poster photo card her hair looks so pretty when it's like parted like this. Ooh, this is cool. This sticker sheet thing. Now that I'm done with my tangents, let's just go through the rest of this. <laughs> I just don't want to like miss out on saying these things because I feel like this is one of the only chances I get to like really express that, you know? But yeah, anyways, now we get this group cover. Of course, like the one time I can't get the Walmart version of the poster version is when SM makes it like different covers actually like these are different posters which I really appreciate because you know for like NCT Dream for example okay anyways <laughs> ignoring that mini power outage all of those posters were the same like across all the retailers but this one's actually different so it makes me want to collect them even more like the physical album but I have still yet to find the Walmart one I just hate Walmart in general like when it comes to US exclusives especially like, they never can properly restock them. The photo cards always get stolen and stuff. Have the executives of SM walked through a Walmart before? Like, they need to fly their asses here and walk through a Walmart. Day in the life at Walmart. They need to see why they can't stock exclusives there. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. We got, oh, this is a different sticker sheet. <gasps> Ooh, and we got winter this time for our Amazon exclusive. Yay. This is probably a dupe album since I bought two copies at the same time. Let's see. Oh, it's now. We got another Giselle. Okay. Hey, I missed you. You are the main character. We love you. Stay cute. Thank you. Needed that today. All right. Lastly, on the SP agenda, we have our SM Minis. Now, for the SM Minis, I did buy, like, full sets for Red Velvet and Espa because I really do like collecting these SM Minis, so I just thought, why not? The annoying thing is, for some reason, K-Town for You decided to stick these big-ass barcodes on, like, not even on the back here, smack in the front. So, I don't have time to remove them right now, so I will remove them one day, but, like, why? I don't, what, what was the thought process? <laughs> Whatever, anyways... Here is the SM Mini. This is literally the only thing that's different this time. The actual member thing. Okay. Let's take one peek at the inside. Little NPC. What is that? What is it called? Little card thing? Chip? Whatever. Who is first? Oh, wow! Giselle is so consistent. Oh my god, wait. Her nails. Why is, like, the Lorax on her nails? What? <laughs> that's pretty cool, though. It's like furriness over there and it matches her hair too whoa was that intentional all right next up ning ning there we go that was way more smooth all right who's next oh we got another giselle no worries dupes will happen now we have winter boom clean and then Ooh, oh, we actually got Winters this time. She's wearing like a... Oh, I thought it was a bucket hat. Never mind. It's just a hood, I think. Why don't she even put Winters photo card? Cute. So now we just need to pull Karina or Ning Ning to get at least OT3. Come on, Giselle. Don't let us down. Who is it? Oh my god, it's actually Ning Ning's. Yes. I literally just need Karina's. Okay, she looks stunning. All right, we are officially at our second to last album to open. And this is a new thing on my channel. We have Kiss of Life. Yes, I know, this is a new group. Yes, I know, I get into groups a lot, blah, 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 blah. But guess what? This is my collection, my money, my rules, my channel. <laughs> And also, um, you know, I just love collecting in general. If I really appreciate an artist's music, I like having physical memorabilia, you know, like collecting 
it's a collection. That's my logical reasoning. I really liked their debut too. I just didn't buy the album at that time. I was basically just waiting for this comeback to see if it, I like officially solidify my likeness for the group, I guess, and love this comeback. So let's just go through this. We actually do have some POBs because I did wait for POB events to happen before I bought it because I bought these in Korea or from Korea. Okay, so for the regular photo books, I did buy it from this shop called, I think it's called Flink. Never heard of it before, but it was like one of the only places that still had an event going on. So we got these like devil themed cards. We got Belle and Julie's. And then I got the Polka versions from Makestar. And funny enough, I literally got Nati and Hanu's photo cards. So we literally got like one of each member. And these ones are like cat paw ones. Look at how adorable. And then this also included a little like sticker thing. And we got Julie's for this. Everyone welcome Kiss of Life to 8 Ratty's channel. Let's flip through. I think this is the good version. No, I think it's the bad version. We'll just flip through this. I like how their packaging's like magazine style. Even their debut was like this. Ooh. Oh wait, hold on. Let's see. Ooh, see this literally is like a magazine packaging. Whoa, oh they even include the album details on the back. <laughs> That's so interesting. Okay, and then there's the CD. But yes, oh my god, this, another like flawless album to be honest. I really liked this entire album as a whole. My favorite song by far though is Nobody Knows. Like literally from the first listen, I was like, okay, this is gonna be my favorite song from this album. It's just so good, I love it. Oh, staff interview? Whoa. <gasps> Whoa, wait, look. Oh my God. It's like fun collages and stuff. Oh my God, you guys know I love a good collage. They literally made it like a, was this what their debut album looks like? The physical one? Like an actual like magazine editorial like you can see they even put like little text here and there yeah also just they are just so talented like literally the vocals on their song sound so good and they really just like they sound good hello <laughs> and like it's insane how nati is finally like in a group now like literally i just first remembered her from 16 you know you know, the Twice Survival Show. Ooh, whoa. This folds out to a poster? Interesting. And then I think she was on Idol School, right? For From Us 9. And then I remember her solo debut too. And now she's in Kiss of Life. And I feel like she really does match like the Kiss of Life vibe. Like she found her group. This is her calling. So happy for her for that. And yeah, that's it. Okay. It, it also does include a separate poster though. Ooh. Bad news. Get the sticker sheets. All right, now for our photo cards. I did see the top one, this one I think. And we got Hanus. I like her hair, it's so cool. And then, ooh, we got another Julie's. It's like very like Western theme, you know, like Yeehaw! Alright, and then we have the good version. This collage is cool on the back. Alrighty. Through this photo book now. Wait, this is so cool. Oh wait. This isn't the same... Maybe the... Wait. Hold on. Are these the same photo... Are you serious? They pulled an SM? Is this the same... Oh my god. They really just... Okay, this is different. I know. But... Is everything really the same? What? They really pulled this stunt? You're kidding. Okay, well, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> but it's okay. Anyways. For this one... What is this? Oh, it's like a little... Fold-out accordion photo the same stickers. All right, I did see the top one again, but we got Nati's photo card. I like that like red streak in her hair. That looks pretty cool. And another Julie. Wow, we are very Julie blessed today. So much Julie. 
All right, and then we have our Poka versions. Oh my God. I don't really like this packaging because they put the sticker here and it's like, I have to rip it, you know? Ugh, why? Anyways, let's see. This is the bad version. Oh, it just slips out. Ooh, we got a Bell concept card. Oh, the QR card. We got Hanus. Oh, we got a Hanus set. Whoa. So we get two cards. Stickers. More stickers. And yeah, pretty basic polka version. Lastly, the good version. Let's see. All right. Oh, another Julie for the QR card. Oh, we got a Nati and a Bell. Pretty like evenly balanced pulls, I'd say, all around. And then the rest of the stickers. And yes, that is it for Kiss of Life. Everyone welcome Kiss of Life. Their music is just too good though. Like literally Sugar Coats, my personal song of the year, to be quite honest. Okay, y'all, we are here approaching the final album of this album haul slash unboxing. Bam! We are ending it with another madness of versions. What a chill kill by Red Velvet. Their long awaited comeback. Oh my God. So we have almost all the versions here. Again, I only decided to buy my bias for these two versions. So we have Yeti's package and poster version. And then once again, for the SM minis, I wanted to get all of them. So there's that. There's the photo book versions and the bag versions, which they decided to do. So that's fun. Let's get into it though. All right, we will start off with the photo books. These are gorgeous, by the way. Like, look at that. The album design and all the foil and stuff. Literally stunning. Oh my God, flip through this. Like, look at that. The aesthetics of it all. So cool. So I'm hoping this is like its own photo book, you know, and not just a different cover like we've experienced in this video so far. So look at that. Ooh, so pretty. Oh my god, I just noticed the star on her face. It's like very night renaissance, right? Is this what renaissance era was? Nights and stuff? No? I don't know my history. Looks super cool though. Wow. All right, and then we get our group poster sticker sheets. We get this mini postcard. We got Yetis. How fun. And then for our photo card. Oh my God, we got Yeti again. Whoa, this is such a cool card though. The background, the forest. So pretty. All right, I think that first one was called Elemental right? Elemental Elements version. I think this one is called the Sisters version. Again, stunning cover. Yeah, I am obsessed with this song, like Chill Kill, literally one of my favorite songs of 2023. I feel like it threw everyone, including me, in a bit of a loop though, because I think, you know, judging by these teasers and like the drama of it all, like literally they were acting their asses off in these teasers and in the music video. It was like, whoa, crazy, right? And it's just so funny how like the chorus, it was like building up and then suddenly the chorus was just like, don't think about some more. Like it's just so happy and upbeat and everyone's like, what? Did not expect that at all. But I, I think Suki said it in an interview or something that it was a mix of like the red and velvet sides which makes complete sense. Like it definitely gave off both red and velvet and it honestly does work. Like it grew on me a lot. So yeah. Oh my God, especially you guys. <gasps> Ooh, this one's a unit. So we got Irene and Wendy's, but that, oh my God, literally the bridge to like ending part. I feel like those part of songs are my favorite typically. It's just too good. Like the bridge is just so, Oh my god, vocally, so good too. Overall, yes. My favorite part of the song, without fail. We got another sticker sheet. We got this Wendy postcard, so it's a little butterfly. And then, oh, whoa, these like match, actually. We got Wendy's photo card as well. Cute. All right, now we're gonna open 
the package version. I was actually this close to buying an OT5 set of this because Makestar was having an event with these and the cards were pretty cute, but I resisted and I'm kind of glad I did. I need some form of self-control, you know? See this version, it's really cute though. Like, of course, when they make like a really cool aesthetic and like packaging and stuff is when I don't or can't buy OT5 for it. But yeah, it looks like it's the sister's photo shoot. These photos are so gorgeous. Though. Like, they are modeling for their lives. And, like, the background and stuff. It's just so artsy. Oh, it's like a combination of both versions. Yay, love that. I'm assuming, though, that all the photo books are the same <laughs> once again. So, kind of dodged the bullet there. All right. <gasps> oh, yay, we got another Yeti photo card in, like, the same background. The back is so cute. I love that little tiger. Yeah, so pretty. So funny how it's, like, not in, in the center, too. <laughs> okay, and then we get this mini little lyric thing. And, ooh, this Yeti, like, bookmark. This is so cool. It's just so artsy. I love it. I totally forgot to get into this first, but they made a bag version. And of course they made two colors for it. It's kind of confusing though, because the like bag on here is both red, but like it's the labels that tell th tells them apart. I don't know why they didn't just make this one like silver or white, but whatever. Anyways, I'm so excited to open these. Like a bag version. I love my bag version albums. Ooh. Oh. Okay, the photo cards just spilled out. <laughs> but anyways, whoa, it's so teeny. It's so cute, actually. You could fit like your phone in here and that's it. And a lip balm, a phone, a lip balm, and a dream. Anyways, let's take all this out. Look at that. It's actually like so small, but it's so cute. And I like the design of it too. Okay, ooh, what's this? Oh, this is the oh, mini CD, so they decided to do this. I guess that makes sense, you know? But yeah, so teeny. And then here's our lyrics. And instead of a photo book, it looks like we get like a full postcard set. So we'll go ahead and quickly flip through this. See, like this is like so dramatic and then suddenly they're like don't think of that tomorrow hey <laughs> anyways okay now we actually get a full set of cards again insane so yeah here it is we have wendy Sergi, yeti irene and joys i think it's like random one out of two sets so really hoping we pull the other one in the red version <laughs> okay i just looked at the time and like i seriously need to like start hurrying up but i'm near the end anyways let's get to this bag <gasps> oh this one's like oh oh damn it i think it's the same sets <gasps> judging by this but this one's like a velvet <gasps> whoa this one's like so much fancier that is so cool oh my god okay then these should be the same, but it looks like we get a different postcard set. So we'll quickly flip through this. I feel like these are just like the same exact pictures though. Just in postcard form. Yeah, like I feel like I've seen this joy picture like three times now. Okay, and then uh, yes. Damn it, I thought we would get lucky. We had a 50% chance, but I guess I'll try and swap that for the other version. Alrighty, now we have our singular Yeti poster version. Let's see. Whoa. So yes, of course it folds out to this massive poster. And on the back, like a collage with lyrics. 
should know this by now. <gasps> Even the CD. Whoa. And then our postcard set. Oh, why is she just holding a volleyball? <laughs> it's out of nowhere. All right, and then I see a stack of these stickers. It's like the props that they held. All right, and then, oh, ooh, we got this. I, oh my God, is she wearing butterfly wings? Oh, that is so cute. This is such a cute card. Oh my God. Actually approaching the last of the last, the SM Minis for Chill Kill. Love how they're like color correspondence. So yeah, let's get into it. We'll start off with Wendy on the left. Oh God, these stickers, man. Oh, that's actually pretty smooth. Okay. Are the insides color matching too? Oh, they're not. But this is cool, the way it says red velvet like this. Once again, hoping for an OT5 set, or as close as we can get. Who's our first one? <gasps> Ooh, we got Joy in this really cute blue hat. Love that. All right, Joy. Joy to the world. Next up, Irene. I guess properly show it. <laughs> If that even matters. <gasps> Ooh, we got turkeys this time. Whoa, this is such an interesting angle. Oh my god, her bear. <laughs> it's wearing like a scarf and all. She's surrounded by little leaves. So pretty. Now for Yeti. Who will we get? Oh my god, of course we get a dupe. So once again, we have Joyce. Let's just hope that's the only dupe that shows up here. Because come on, five SM minis, at least four members. Come on. Okay, well, here's Joyce. Ended off with a bang. That was a pretty smooth sticker peel, so got a good feeling about this. Oh, yes! Okay, we got Wendy's this time. Always and forever. Okay, so we can still get four out of five. Come on, Sogi. All right. Last album of the day. Oh, why is this already peeled? What the? I did not do that. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yes. Oh, it's upside down. What the? <laughs> but Yeti. Oh my God. We actually did get four out of five members. Noise. So we are just missing Irene's. But that's fine. Four out of five, y'all. Not too shabby. And with that, that is our graceful ending of the last album haul slash unboxing of 2023. Wow, this photo card spread is insane. <laughs> but yes, anyways, that is it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Mwah.